Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's a Cults Receivable time. Anthony here with Teresa. Hello. And tonight, as expected, we are back with more Undertale. We are going for the, the, the true good ending. We did the neutral ending on Monday night, um, and we got through all of that. So now now we're we're going to be going for the good ending yes so uh prepare to be emotionally wrecked yeah apparently i'm, I'm gonna get emotionally compromised okay so real quick so i'm noticing here yeah. where it says soman level one that is not the amount of hours i have in this game are those minutes is 460 those, those are minutes okay because that's insane <laughs> It's a weird way to count how long you spent in a game. I don't think I've ever had 460 hours in anything. I probably put that much into Overwatch back maybe, in the day. Maybe Final Fantasy XIV, I have 463 hours, but that's like yeah. it. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Okay, so let's continue. We, we're going we back. To we're, talk we're, to Alphys. Yeah, we're going back to talk to Alphys. Yeah. Um... And maybe Metaton. And maybe Metaton. It's uh, it's unclear, but I I want to know what's going on. Well, I guess we'll find out. Last time we 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 mercied Flowey. Hey, what's yes. up, Luke? We mercied Flowey despite Flowey's best efforts. Yeah, despite Flowey's best efforts, and God, so I've I've been listening to the soundtrack the last couple of days, and it was driving me, me crazy how much mm -hmm. like. I'm like, what is it about uh, Flowey's uh, bat battle theme that's driving me crazy? Why does it seem familiar? And, um... Did you figure it out? Oh, yeah. Or did you get distracted by the sick I, bop? I, I, got, I got distracted by the sick bop. Um, it reminded me... It, it reminded me of Dancing Mad, Kefka's final boss theme from uh, Final Fantasy VI. Oh! Now, it has been so long since I played Final Fantasy VI, uh, I don't remember most of the music. Oh, hey! Hey! Uh, this is Undine. Undine. Wow. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. No, it wasn't! <laughs> Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! I love her. I think we're, we're working on, on, uh, on the channel. I think we got, got bits or something, or... I don't know. I've been leaving that to you and Hillary. Yeah, I think Hillary's gonna be working on that too tonight while uh, while we're playing once she's done with a couple of things. But yeah, I've been I've been jamming um to the soundtrack to this game. Nope, it's this way. And Dean is best girl. It's true. All right, so we gotta go to Snowden. Uh, left floor one. Left floor, none beef. <laughs> Every time. Never gonna get old. It's never gonna it's get not. old. It's not. It's not. And that's fine. Oh yeah, Hillary, wash the hell out of those dishes. Eat a boat. Uh, yep, get in the boat, and we're going to Snowden. So how's everyone doing tonight? How's chat doing tonight? Oh, cat boat. There it goes. Here we go. Tra la la, what's a game you can play with a dog? Asking for a friend. Uh, Detective Frog, I think. Yeah, that would work. Come, come again sometime, tra la la. Yeah, I, you know, I back when I worked retail, I hated closing. So, the worst were the turnaround shifts where I had to close one night and open the next, next day. It ah, was, the clopener. The clopener. It was awful. Hey, I have something to give you. Is it a hug with your big muscly arms? Oh, please. But you're carrying way too much. Oh, dip. All right, hold on. Oh, our pockets are so full of health items. Our pockets are full of spaghetti. Don't we have a box in our cell phone? You're right. Uh, dimensional box. There we go. I, I'm full of cinnamon buds. Mm-hmm. All right, I shoved the cinnamon bud in my phone. What do you got for me, Undine? 
Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. How convenient! That's where I was going. I know, right? Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Oh no! Um, well... Oh no! What is that? Okay. That's a... That's hey. a new face! Oh, she's so cute. It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. I kind of want to read it. Thanks so much. You're the best. I kind of want to read it. Are you going to read it right in front of her? No, I'm going to go into Papyrus's room, so... <laughs> she blames him. <laughs> Are you a papyrus somehow? Yeah. Okay. Secrets or death? Um, no, I won't read it. Okay. I don't know if there's... Uh, this This game is big on consequences, and if I, I know if I open it, but... Uh, maybe I'll... The temptation is too much. Do you want to save scum? Do I want to save scum? Maybe when I... Let me get to a save point. Yeah, maybe we can save scum. I'm gonna run the boat. Uh, Hotland. It sucks. Hotland sucks! Welcome to the Church of Undine. Kate, secrets or death? Listen, I live in Arizona. Hotland does suck, but at least it's cake, dry. Cake, please. Meat. Cake, please. Yeah, I'll take cake. Tra la la. Tra la la. Tra la la. I do love the ferryman. Come again sometime, tra la la. All right, uh, all right, here we go. Well, there's a safe spot, convenient. I'm filled with determination. I'm filled with determination to read this fucking letter. Yeah, same. Loop, I would 100% do the Monty Python cake sketch with you, but I have, it's been so long, I don't remember how it goes. Undine's letter, unique letter written for Dr. Alphys. Okay, here we go. Okay. Maybe if you check the lab door, you could slide it underneath. What? That's oh. it? Oh. It's not going to let us read it. Okay. No! Okay. <laughs> ah! Okay, fine. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Slot. Ah. Slide. Oh, Kicker Death is Eddie Izzard. That's right. That's right. That's right. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. An another? Oh, oh no. Is that another letter? Oh, that's not. I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's just kind of stormily, isn't it? Indeed, did you punch the envelope? She's just talking to herself in there on the other side of the door. I love it. Wait a second. Oh my god. Did she laser it? Hey, uh, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um... This? Ma'am, I'm a child. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> and, and so passionately, too. Still a child. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'll do it. Bye, I'm leaving now. <laughs> It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. <laughs> oh, God. Dating start. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. I'm glad how we go on dates with everybody. 
How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. It's pretty cute, Alphys. Is it Metaton? Is Metaton your friend that did this? I'm sure. Oh. Oh. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Maybe Undine helped her pick out that dress. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. <laughs> Dating! Stop! <laughs> um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Oh my god. Of course, Alphys knows dating sims. Right? A anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got... some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. Yeah, but polish my chef's apron. also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... <laughs> I'm, I'm sensing a theme here. I know, right? Weird. Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating! Start! Yeah! Let's, uh, date! Yeah! Yep. We're doing yep. it. Yep. Panic. Oh, God. <laughs> Self-realization. Uh, <laughs> do you like anime? Yes. We have to say yes. I mean, the answer is yes, but... The if answer we... is yes. Hey, me too. <laughs> hey, let's go somewhere. <laughs> but where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. A plus idea. Mm hmm. Here we are. This is where Undine and I come all the time. I feel on our like, not dates. I feel like I'm watching two people from my old high school anime club attempt to date each other. <laughs> Amazing. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Oh, there's a little dog in the background. Oh my god, there is. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. Oh no. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well. Oh no, here she comes. <laughs> Little. Are, are, Soman's just kind of staring vacantly, like, guys, seriously, what's happening right now? <laughs> There you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. This is the episode where Teresa talks to herself. I mean, you do it all the time. I know, I do it all the time. Have you at least seen her? <laughs> <laughs> She's panicking behind the trash can. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes, I've seen her. Yes. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh I, my god. I like how Undine is just like, have you seen her? And you, and we go, yeah. And Undine doesn't decide to follow up that question with where. Yeah, right? Because <laughs> we could just point to the obviously alpha-shaped trash can. Yep, yep. I think there's one brain cell in the entire underground. I agree. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? 
I, uh, I really like her. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, seriously. I mean, more than I like other people. Again, who doesn't? Right? I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of... Pretend date with you, so to make you feel better. Aww. Uh, I mean, I appreciate that, but I am perfectly content with who I am because I am a child. I am a child, ma'am. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. No, technically Undine did by not signing her goddamn name. I know, right? He sends a letter, like a big, mushy, passionate letter, apparently, and then doesn't sign it. An idiot. An idiot. Everyone in this, everyone in the underground is an idiot. Well, like you said, there's one brain cell their in entire, the entire underground. They learned their entire world history from manga. Yep. <laughs> Undine's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. Well, good news! She's right over there, digging through yeah. trash. She's also dressed for a date, too. Did you see that jacket? Mm. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. No, I am. Also a child, still. I'm a child. I'm too young to be dating. But, Undine... She's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. Ah, so you dumped all of your stat points into Int and none in Wiz. Got it. Got it. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. Keep lying. <laughs> Tell her the truth. I, I'm imagining the, from, that scene from Aladdin with Genie with the Tell her the truth. <laughs> the truth? Yes. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. No. She's literally digging through garbage for you. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? No. Or a truth where neither of us are. They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. Oh man, this got deep. I gotta go, I gotta go back to the nap stab looks and have a ghost sandwich and stare into the void. Yeah, we need to go lay down on the ground and chill <laughs> uh, listening to ghost jams. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. I know. I'm eight. I'm and eight. I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Indeen the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm, I'm imagining that while Alphys has this crisis, our character's just laying on the ground staring at the sky. <laughs> I like that as well. And also, like, just off screen, literally just off screen, Undine is in the background listening to this, literally, like, but also rummaging for garbage. Punching dumpsters and screaming at nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? L obviously, <laughs> let's role obviously, play. Let's role play. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. Role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undine? Huh. 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 Okay. Interesting. Hold on. I feel. Mm. You know what? I think let's have her be Undine. Okay. And we'll be her. Okay. Me? Undine? 
Uh, 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 okay. I'll say what I think she'd say, and you, um... You show me what I'm supposed to do. There we go. <clears throat> okay, now you need to play you pretending to be Southern you. Yep, yep. <laughs> you got this. Okay. Yeah, hey, Alphys, you look cute today. That's, that's not, that's not it at all. No, you, you want to do it again? Go, go again? No, you I'm just going to keep going. I'll okay. keep pushing through. You got it. I'll either, I'll either get it eventually or it'll be a big disaster. Either way, it'll be entertaining. Which I say often, but platonically, because I would never like you. So we have to say what we, what Alphys thinks she should say. <laughs> Yo, Yo, you're, you're one, one hot, 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 hot baby. No, um, I think we should just walk her through the steps of a normal conversation. <laughs> okay, but again, we're eight. We are eight. <laughs> but I think we're also more emotionally competent than literally everyone in the ground. <laughs> what are you talking about? Papyrus is so emotionally competent okay, no. with all of his well, friends. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're more emotionally competent than literally everyone else in this game. All right, all right. We'll do the, we'll do the normal one. Yep. Talk to you? Hmm. I guess so. I often seem excited to listen to you for some reason. Oh God! Oh God! Is she having a thought? Is she coming to realization? Maybe. I will make intent eye contact with you so you sweat while you talk. So, what is it? Um, uh, I mean, let's tell Undine the truth. Yes. What? So you've been lying to me the whole time? Alphys, I can't believe you. You, you worthless slime. How can you betray our friendship? After how much I trusted you. Alphys, I'll never love you. Never will you feel my passionate embrace. I, Undine, will never kiss you with my beautiful lips. When does Undine just kind of walk into frame? There we go, hey! There she is. What did you just say? Uh, uh, Undine, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Oh my god. All right. Uh, okay. I'm just going to go climb into that trash can behind you guys. <laughs> I think we can just continue to lay here staring at the sky <laughs> while I figure it out. I'm eight years old. We were playing some garbage. Yep. Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. Oh no. Alphys. We have reached sitcom levels of ridiculousness. We sure have. God, look at Undine's face. This is DEFCON 3's company. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. Oh, that's better. That's much better. That's much, yeah, that's that's totally much better. Uh-huh. What? I mean... Okay, the only way this could get better is if Undine says, well, I'm going to roleplay as someone else now. Right? <laughs> like, Undine needs to roleplay us to complete this. Yep, yep. I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those? Those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. And that time, Alphys. I'm amazed that you read that that quickly. <laughs> God damn. I don't have many skills, but reading is one of them. <laughs> I just want to 
wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elvis. Aw, she's getting head pats. Look at her head. Aw. And Dean, I... I really think you're neat, okay? Elvis. Suplex! Yowie, suplex! Oh my god. What's that? Elvis! I... I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've gotta realize... Most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. Soman's over here like, oh, I get it. You're, you're really just a turbo idiot. Got it. Yep. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys. I want to help you become happy with who you are. Aww. And I know just the training you need to do that. Hug training. Undine, you... Oh, uh, Alphys has reached her final form. <laughs> her true form revealed. You're, you're gonna train me? What? Me? I'm gonna get the pirates to do it. <laughs> My time has come! Get those, away! Get those bones shaken! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undine. I'll do my best. Okay, I need a tank top that says Jog Boy. You do. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Yes, Undine, they're real. They're just... What? Anime's real, right? Oh, my God! I mean... Oh, I could do the oh. funniest thing right now. You sure could. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> Living for Undine's theme at like fucking ten times speed over here. This is great. Alright. Alright, I feel like okay, we just witnessed all of that. I think we have to do this for our I mean anime is technically real. It is technically real, yes. Mm. It exists. I don't think that's the context in which she's asking. No, I, uh no, she's already having a panic. Okay. Let's do anime is real. Let's calm her down. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. Did I? Did we? I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Papyrus looming up out of the garbage is something that I didn't realize I needed. That was pretty perfect. How did we get... Oh, this is the dump. Okay, so... They all just left us here. I love it. We succeeded, question mark? Your trash zone. Yeah, I mean, I guess... We go back to the lab? 
Okay. Oh, now we can check her lap and she's not there. <laughs> My time has come! <laughs> Howdy! Hey! Boy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Oh, wow. Very early. She might be dead. <laughs> so I sent her home. Very home. Much home. Wow. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason... You should also go there to her lab house. I'm a master of subtlety. <laughs> I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. Oh my god. <laughs> and now I will hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Everyone in this game is stupid. <laughs> One brain cell. All right. Let's go to Hotland. Tra la la. Beware of the man who came from the other world. What? 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 Okay. Isn't that technically me, or is there more? I mean... Come again sometime, tra-la-la. <laughs> okay, well now I can snoop. There's a message crumpled up in the trash can. It's in a strange kind of, kind, of, kind of handwriting. It says, I know what you did. Oh no. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... or wait, what is this? I don't remember this. The dog food? Oh, that's right. Alphys, you don't have a dog. But... Ooh. It's a note oh. from Alphys. I was hoping we could find Undine's letter. Uh, yes, read it. Yeah. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Yeah, do you want to read it? Oh, yeah. Hey. Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But... As difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. Is that the bathroom? It's the bathroom. It's the little scientist's room. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Well, I'm gonna look around a little. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go back up. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was the bathroom. The Metaton Hole. That's the Metaton Hole. This was where yep. we all of her manga. Oh yeah. I oh. Think I need to... Oh, there he is. Looks like Metaton is undergoing repairs. Is he gonna be okay? I hope he's okay. Metaton will be fine. Okay. Meta Metaton's too beautiful to, to die. That is true. That is just true. All right. Okay. Into the little scientist's room. 